Hey everyone, it's out in the backyard again today working on a little project. This one is a scrap wood storage box. And before I get into this box too much, I'm just going to take you over to my shed for a minute and explain why I'm building this. So this shed is 8 by 8 feet. I have no garage. This is my main workspace. And there's a lot of items in here, like lawn chairs, buckets, pots, that type of stuff. And it's just getting too packed. And I can't really add on to the shed, and I don't want to build another shed, so my solution was to build a storage box. So I chose this location for the box because it's right beside two lodgepole pines. It's kind of a dead space in my yard and I can't really grow anything here so I thought it would be a good place for the box. It is 8 feet long, 3 feet wide, 3 feet high, so I'm gaining a lot of cubic feet. And it's a lot bigger than I wanted but some of these, uh, these planks just happen to be 8 feet long and to save myself a few cuts I just made a bigger box. And just uh, next door, they're doing a lot of construction, and all these boards were going to get thrown away anyways. So I thought I'd reuse them. That's kind of the, the whole point of this video, is to show that if you're willing to do a little bit of work, you can save yourself some money. For me to build this box, you know, to buy all this wood, and to get it transported to my house, because I don't have a truck, it probably cost about $200. And last night, I went out. It's getting pretty dark fast now, so probably about 7 o'clock it's getting, it's getting dark. So I went out with my uh, flashlight in the dark and my steel toe boots and started dragging all this wood home. It took a couple hours. And I won't be finishing it today. I'm just kind of building it as I go. I actually got quite far for just, this is my second day building it. And as more boards get thrown away, I will be continuing to build it. And once it's all done, I'm going to get some dark brown stain with the varnish built in and give it a good coat of stain, make it look nice all these boards are different colors and the top what I might do is build uh, like a, a double door on it so it's not so heavy there's a look inside not too bad for just scrap wood So on a side note, I had mentioned that uh, all this wood came from a construction site nearby. And me and my wife have lived in this house for 12 years now. And we got a nice backyard and right past that gate over there, there's about 60 acres of field. And then after that, there's lots of bush and farmland. And whenever I had a craving to just go for a walk, it was like a perfect place. No one ever was out there. And things are changing now. It's going to open up this back gate. Because I'm right on the outskirts of this town. And we had a beautiful view from our bedroom window looking out on this field. And this is what it's looking like right now. Building a new development. I was right on the edge of town. And I knew that they were going to build here one day, and I guess we were lucky we had 12 years to enjoy this. I believe they're building 33 homes back here. But you see those pipe, those green pipe? Well, they all came in bundles. Uh, square bundles of 2x6s wrapped in uh, a metal strap. 
and that's where I got all my boards from. So I just wanted to share that with you. That was what I was doing today. I hope somebody out there found this video interesting or useful. And thank you very much for watching.